Ryan Lilly joins me from the Toronto Sun. He knows all about politics, and I want him to explain to me what's going on in federal politics, because at the start of this thing, everybody said Trudeau is going to win re-election. No one knows the Conservatives. And uh, here we are right now. We're almost tied. Oh. Everyone said? No, Everyone. I, I, I warned the Liberals. I, you know, they don't listen to me, but I warned the Liberals. The polls are not as good as you think. When you've got polls, you've been in politics a long oh, time, yeah. Stephen. When, when you've got polls that range from a two-point gap to a 14-point gap. It means nothing. The, the electorate's fluid. They're all over the place. Are Canadians so damn polite they won't tell the pollsters what they think until it really comes down to voting day? That might be part of it, what's going on, but we've seen it tighten. Every single pollster has it a tightened race. There's one or two that have the Tories well out in front. I don't believe those. I think it's still a tight race. Oh, it's very tight. They're close in Ontario now. Yeah. The last election, it was 42-33. The Liberals had 42% of the vote in Ontario. The Conservatives had 33. They're points apart now in Ontario. The NDP and the Conservatives are ahead in British Columbia. They don't win seats out west. They don't win because they, they had 29 in their first election when they got their majority. They went down to 14 last time. Yeah, and um, it's going to be even probably... Fewer of them this time. So, what, really, is it coming down to people are just fed up with Trudeau and all his antics? And, you know, I mean, or the last $100 million just shipped over to China for a new boat while they hold our people you know, prisoner? Or is it the fact that people just say, you know, we can do better, it's time for a change? I, it feels like a change election. And to me, it's reminding me of the 2005 2006 campaign. That election campaign, I, I was sent out for the first week. You're following the Prime Minister. And I was told, you know, new reporter on Parliament Hill, the Liberals have a plan, they're going to, you know, it's juggernaut time. You remember yeah. all that? And I got on the Liberal bus and we drove to the Queen Elizabeth Hotel in Montreal and we sat there for most of the week and they didn't have anything to do. Justin called this election with no plan. He didn't know where to go. He didn't know what to announce. So the elections become about him. He's trying to campaign against Stephen Harper, and anti-vaxxer protesters. Isn't that bizarre to show how low he's going? Yeah. We talked about Harper. And, and when they brought up abortion and private health care in the first, what, three days of the campaign? And they aren't issues. Against O'Toole? You know, that just shows you that they were desperate right away. They don't have a narrative. And people are starting to look at Trudeau and say, I don't like him. All his negatives, I wrote about this in The Sun the other day, all his um, all the behind the scenes numbers. How do you feel about the leader? They're going down for Trudeau. They're going up for Singh and going up for O'Toole. Is it that, and also is it the fact that he called the election and he's looking very smug about it. People say, well, you only called it because you think you can win it and now you're in trouble. People are angry. They thought it'd be a one or two day story that you're calling an early election in the middle of pandemic. It's been two weeks, more than two weeks now, and people are still talking about it. I'm over three minutes. Is it going to hold for the rest of the election? No, uh, yeah, he won't. It's, it's, it's going in the wrong direction. Next chapter. So now we're in the middle of Justin's Vandy election, and all over mainstream news, you're going to have the same news day after day after day. We are not going to have every show between now and September 20th on the election. We are going to have some very, very important analysis and some smart ideas and thoughts that you will not find anywhere else. Hence, PayPal, please. But I just want to lay it out for you that we will also be having some people in on this show who are not big names, who have something to say about the issues. Because when it comes down to it, elections are not about the people so much, it's about the issues and how it impacts you. Stay tuned. We're going to have some good ones.